Hello and welcome to Rotted Reviews, and today we're continuing on with the advent calendar of Christmas horror movies, and today I'd like to talk about the 2015 movie, Follow. Now I didn't start this video with my normal gravelly voice, and though I typically try to have a sense of fun and a jovial atmosphere within my channel, I do want to have a bit of a somber tone for this one. And the reason for that is this particular movie, and subsequently this review, does tackle the topic of suicide. And there are many things in life that I will show levity for, but this is not one of them. Instead, what I'd like to do is, before I get into this movie review, just reach out and say, if you are experiencing any suicidal thoughts, if you are having any difficulties whatsoever, please reach out. There is help available. The number for the United States National Suicide Hotline is 1-800-273-8255. I will go ahead and put that at the bottom of this video. And in the comment section, I will also provide links for international audiences please, please reach out. Okay, so the 2015 movie, Follow. Written and directed by Owen Egerton, who you might recognize is the writer-director of Bloodfest. This movie follows the character of Quinn as he's celebrating the holidays with his girlfriend. And as they're preparing to celebrate in a bit of a carnal festive style, things stop when she decides that now is the perfect time to give him his gift. A gun. At this point, she informs him that there are no bullets and instructs him to put the gun in his mouth and pull the trigger. Huh? Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, honey, don't do that. Come on. <laughs> okay, let me just check no. the thing, you know. It's not loaded. Okay, let me just check no, the thing. No, that's cheating. <laughs> I want you to trust me. After some hemming and hawing and going back and forth with some dialogue, we immediately cut to Quinn waking up. And things clearly haven't gone to plan because his girlfriend is the one lying on the floor in a puddle of blood. What follows from there is Quinn reacting to the situation and trying to put the pieces together of what actually went down that night. Meanwhile, people seem to keep dropping by and odd situations start occurring like the body moving itself. And that's pretty much all I'll describe on a plotline level. The movie just kind of takes it from there with unraveling the mystery of what's actually going on and uh, generally having the situation escalate. So I got to be absolutely honest, I have been struggling with what to say about Follow ever since I watched it last night. I think the best way I can really put it is I liked it. I wanted to like it more than I actually did, though. I've said quite often on this channel that one of the core elements of a good horror movie is a good mystery. We start out with so many things hidden in the shadows. Who's doing things? Why? So on and so forth. Uh, in the case of paranormal or hauntings and so forth, it l largely winds up with the what as we're trying to figure out what happened that is now leading to what's going on with the hauntings or whatever. And this movie was a good example of a very intriguing mystery. He wakes up, things clearly didn't go to plan, whatever that plan may have been, it certainly wasn't intended to be like this with her lying on the floor. So what happened? Why is it happening? Why is the body moving itself? It was some great, great questions and a fantastic mystery. And I think on the notion of a mystery, this movie did a pretty good job explaining most everything. I don't expect any movie to really handhold me and explain everything soup to nuts for me to enjoy it. Sometimes leaving things unsaid can be just fine. But it seems like as it was filling in the gaps and answering the questions of the plot, it was asking more and more questions of philosophy. This movie was a very strange mix of love and death and sex and trust and the violation of all four. And in that, I found it to be a very interesting study. It was acted well. The technicals were spot on. So a lot of the uh, corpse makeup and so forth as time went on was just spectacular. But I couldn't help but feel like as the questions of the plot were being replaced by questions of philosophy, that it was treating those philosophical what if morality and ethical questions with just a little bit too much of a flippant attitude. As we were getting answers to what happened to Quinn and his girlfriend in that little blip of time, the answers that it was starting to kind of presuppose for the philosophical questions about what makes a relationship work, how do we integrate potentially uh, violence and sex, things like that, I wasn't really sure what the movie was really trying to say. And it was such a deep and dark topic to kind of leave open on the floor like that with characters that are just kind of reacting to situations as they're continuing to escalate that I almost felt like it wasn't entirely irresponsible, 
but it wasn't entirely responsible either. Overall, as the movie progressed and I saw where it was going with things, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of a character insight, that it would start addressing those philosophical questions with a little bit less of an open-ended nature and start making some points to it that got me thinking. Start not necessarily answering the questions that it was asking, but being as deep and difficult as they were, perhaps providing just a little bit more focus. That's not to say that I disliked this movie, not by a long shot. Again, the technicals were done remarkably well, the writing wasn't terribly bad, and as far as the setting up a good mystery goes, although overall a bit simplistic in scope, I did find myself compelled by it. It was almost like watching a race where the person in the lead started pulling back at the last moment. I liked it, but I wanted to like it a lot more than I did. So there you go. That's my review of the 2015 movie, Follow. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Remember, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.